What does my setup behind me look like every day of the week while working for clients, making online content for you guys and doing my thing? Welcome to Shoot That Video. In the past, I always had a lot of stuff on my desk. But when I built this new setup, I really looked at all the things like what am I doing in a day at the office or studio and what things do I use? Because as you know, my goal with this channel is not spending as much time as possible in the studio, but going outside, shoot video and edit the video in my hotel room because I'm in, on a trip in Asia, for example. <laughs> so this is my minimal ultra wide MacBook Pro and PC video editing ultra wide minimal setup. Of course, we have to start with the desk. This desk is originally built for two persons. That's why it's quite long. It's two meters and five centimeters. That's 6.8 feet and we made it ourselves. We bought just a wooden tabletop. We made that thicker by adding thicker edges and we made it stronger underneath the tabletop. Then we added it simple legs but painted it black and we gave it a nice finish. Personally, I think the result is awesome and it gives me a nice clean feeling. The main things on my desk, uh, it's of course my MacBook Pro. It's a MacBook Pro mid-2014 edition. So I already have it for five years, it's getting a bit slow now. I'm looking at the upgrade, but my wallet is not looking at the upgrade. Um, it served me well for years and I'm still very happy with it. I still use it every day, but for video editing and definitely 4K video editing is just not good enough anymore. The screen is another favorite. It's a LG ultra wide curved monitor. It's the 34UC98. It's quite old, I got it in 2016. It's also really expensive, but I use it now for three years every day and I can be more happy with it. The ultra wide timeline on this screen in Premiere Pro is crazy efficient and I will choose ultra wide over 4K every day. It's hooked up to my laptop underneath the screen. That's because I really love the keys of my MacBook. Uh, I used a lot of keyboards, but the chocolate style keys are still my favorite. I also used a wireless Apple keyboard, also with the chocolate style keys, but still my MacBook keys are my favorite. And that's why this setup is like this. But the monitor is also hooked to something else, a PC. This is a custom built PC, also quite old, but it's still way more powerful than my own MacBook Pro. So if I want to do heavier editing like 4K or After Effects or something, I turn this PC on, but also this PC has had its best time. But there's a basic keyboard on the PC I can grab at any time. I switch the monitor to another input and I grab my mouse dongle receiver and put it in the PC and I'm good to go. But which mouse? I have the uh, Logitech MX Performance Mouse. It's the best ergonomic mouse there is before Logitech announced the MX Master a couple of years ago. But this one is still doing great, so the upgrade to the MX Master is not necessary for me if this mouse is still doing well. I don't have my Apple Watch on right now. <laughs> For audio, I use the Apple AirPods. I wear them literally the whole day. Um, I think it's one of the best products Apple ever made. Most of the times I'm also editing with the AirPods, but if I have to do things like sound design, for example, then I use a, a studio monitor headphone. The HM5 from Brainwaves, and it's the most comfortable headphone I've ever worn. In my other setups, I had studio speakers, but I never used them because I work with someone else. Uh, so I can play loud music. If I want to do that, I use the soundbar from Teufel and it's really great quality. What we have left is simple. A studio mic that I can grab anytime to connect with my recorder or with my camera to record voiceovers or mm, tutorials or online video courses, things like that. I got a wireless charger from Samsung for my iPhone because I'm a badass. I got my gimbal on the desk because one, it kind of looks cool, uh, but mostly because uh, it's too big for my gear closet. 
and I take a lot of notes. So my notepads and pencils are in the corner, uh, which I'm trying to keep the only messy corner on the desk. And of course, to make it more cozy, a little light and a little plant, which is of course fake. <laughs> and that is my workspace, my everyday real setup. As you can see, not the newest stuff, but it does the job and there's always room for upgrades. Not everything has to be perfect like everybody on YouTube tries to show you. It's a process, like everything else, it's a process. Of course, the laptop is a portable thing I bring with me when I'm going home. And this is also the first time I worked on cable management. So with that, I hope you liked this video. Uh, this is Shoot That Video a channel. It's all about filmmaking and also like this video, the process behind filmmaking. And this channel is about me making videos about filmmaking so I can teach and learn my passion filmmaking at the same time. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you the next time. Bye.